All right, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe, like, comment. <clears throat> it's all appreciated and it all helps the channel. Um, yeah, so who doesn't love the sound of a car by a bit ripping through a panel early in the morning? I actually had to take this panel. This panel was already mounted on the wall. We had to take it off to put these holes in it because this isn't a retail space. There was customers and it gets, I mean, some of you may know, but this gets pretty loud. Um, I do hate taking panels, you know, taking them off, putting them on, taking them off because it kind of, you don't really want to do that too many times, but I had no other choice in this situation. <clears throat> yeah, that bit smoking hot. We're going to drip some drill drilling lubrication right on it there it actually if you can see i don't know if you can see but it, it bubbled up quite a bit too this thing was hot this was i think i put 12 holes 12 half inch holes in it but this is for a 200 amp panel <clears throat> house panel that we're bringing we're picking up all the circuits in the basement from the original panel that's been flooded one too many times and needs to be moved up uh, along with all the service and another additional house panel that's all coming up as well. Everything in the basement basically had to get moved up. But yeah, so putting some holes in this. And then I love this trick. Actually, I got this trick from Nick, uh, Montreal Sparky, over there on Instagram. But taking I, before this trick, I used to always take my level, drag it across, pick up all the shavings, and then just rub it off in the trash. But this is way cleaner and way easier. And saves you quite a bit of... Saves you quite a bit of little metal splinters. But yeah, it works really well with plastic or paper. Anything that's thin enough to like to pick up the shavings. Get the shavings off. Go ahead and back up the wall next to our 400 amp panel. You can see in that, that house panel there, we've already pulled quite a bit of circuits up. Just some uh, 20 amp crank circuits there with MC. And we do have an inch and a quarter uh, contact that goes straight down in the 90s, and then it's going to be changed over to MC because we weren't really able to get the conduit where we want it. Ideally, we'd run all conduit and pull THHN but we could really only stub it down and it just wasn't an ideal of a situation in the basement there to run clean conduit. We basically was able just to get that 90 stub down so I can change it over from MC to feed another something like that for you now. Quite a bit of work in this building. We're doing a lot of these uh, throughout some of the this summer because of all the severe flooding and damage that that caused last year. Some of you follow me along on Instagram or just down YouTube. You'll probably hear me talk about that a lot because that's kind of been taking up a lot of our time. But it's kept us busy and we've, you know, we've learned a lot about relocating. There's the, that's the new M12 Stubby Impact Wrench. That's the 3.8. The thing is, uh, the thing is it definitely takes a lot of pressure off. Yeah, I'm mean, yeah. using my M12 impact. Well, no, you're going to have the same amount of spices. I know, but it yeah. does, it does it, the... Now we're drilling some holes through that floor. It's a really thin floor. <clears throat> Putting some holes through that to run some MC to pick up all our, uh, like I said, brain circuits. We're running 12-2 MC and also some 12-2-2 MC just to reduce the amount of runs that we have to make and and floor penetrations and all that kind of stuff. I actually, I cut out a clip where this thing almost snapped my wrist off because I was going at a pretty hard angle. Uh, I'll take that for the blooper reel. That'll make it through. Yeah. That's going to do it for this of the week. You can see here, this is my hole saw kit. It's a combination pack out and that kit that comes in the case. There's the trusty M18 drill. Things are workhorse. Those are those green bits I was talking about, half inch 
Let's see, inch and a half, I'm pretty sure. Definitely keep those looped up. And there it is, the not released yet M12 3 x impact wrench. Thing is incredible. All right, thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed the clip. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment if there's anything you guys want to see or if you have any questions. I really appreciate it and it helps grow the channel. Have a good week.